All right, so another uh, type of ion that we need to discuss before we start forming ionic compounds are polyatomic ions. And as the name uh, tries to tell you, uh, this poly more than one atom that is an ion, so it has a charge. Okay, so it's two or more atoms that are uh, that have covalent bonds between them, so they uh, are held together by covalent bonds. And, of course, since they're ion, that means they have a net charge that have an overall positive or negative charge. Okay. So there are a lot of different types of polyatomic ions. Uh, we'll go over a few of the most common ones that you might run into. Uh, there are some that have, uh, one that has a positive charge is the ammonium ion. Okay, So that has one nitrogen atom covalently bonded to four hydrogen atoms. And overall it has a positive charge. That means, of course, it just has one more uh, proton than it does electrons in this whole ion. Most of the other polyatomic ions that you run into have negative charges, such as the nitrate ion. And this, of course, was the ammonium. There's the uh, sulfate polyatomic ion, which is SO4 2 minus. And the phosphate ion, which is PO4, 3 minus. Phosphate. P-H-O-S-P, that's a P-H-A-T-E. Phosphate ion. And then a very common substance that is a base, which we'll talk about in later videos, is the hydroxide ion. Okay, um, another one that we can talk about is the carbonate, CO3, 2 minus carbonate. And so these are some really uh, common uh, polyatomic ions that you run into, um, you know, in everyday life and, of course, in the, in the laboratory. All right, uh, additionally, what can happen to especially these anion uh, polyatomic ions is that they can also f react or f um, with hydrogen plus one cations uh, to form different polyatomic ions. Say for instance uh, a carbonate CO3 2 minus would react with an H plus ion uh, since the positively charged hydrogen is going to react with the negatively two uh, charged polyatomic ion becomes HCO3 and you can do the simple math though negative 2 plus a positive 1 is a negative 1 so the charge decreases or increase and becomes more positive by 1 so from a minus 2 to a negative 1 and anytime you uh, have these new polyatomic ions they're very easy to uh, name so this was carbonate one hydrogen that's hydrogen carbonate or uh, more commonly known as bicarbonate. That's the uh, bicarbonate ion. Uh, you can even gain more than uh, one hydrogen on some of these polyatomic ions. So phosphate with a negative three can actually gain two hydrogens to go all the way up to H2PO4 minus one. And since that has two hydrogens, we uh, name this dihydrogen. Use the prefix di to show that there are two hydrogens on this phosphate. 